All right, welcome everybody to uh, Thursday Critique. <laughs> it's not Thursday. Today is Wednesday. Yeah. It's this. Today is Thursday. It has to be. Yo, it's hump day, y'all. <laughs> the middle of the week. Wouldn't actually, wouldn't it actually make it Friday? Friday. You know what they say. Wednesday is the new Friday. Yeah, that's true. Right. That's okay. true. Oranges and Thursdays is are the new Monday? Something like that. <laughs> I, I, did, I, some people start the week on Sunday, I guess. Some people start it on Monday. It depends. Yeah. <laughs> There's a middle well, of the week fact, somewhere. I, I don't know how it is for you. It's some calendars in Latin America. The week starts on Sunday. I think it's something like Catholic or something. So like does that. ours. Really? Okay. Yeah. Doesn't make any sense for me, but never mind. That's the Lord's Day. Mm. Actually, Saturday Poker? is, but Saturday is the Lord, Lord's I think. Day. Poker. Yes. The Sabbath, man. Folklore. The folklore. Folklore. Who are you cracking? Your name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cracking it. Pepsi Max because I didn't find Coke. Shame, shame. <laughs> it just hits different, doesn't it? Yeah. Ah, there's nothing yeah, like yeah. a classic Coke, man. Nothing like a classic Coke. I, I cannot drink like regular Coke. It's too sweet. I like the like, So is that stuff. I don't like that stuff either. Don't drink it. You drink that fancy water with bubbles and they charge like one dollar per bubble. Hey, no, we no, have $1 per I'm, bubble. I'm, <laughs> I make bubble. my own, buddy. You have this solar machine? Oh yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Have you tried using flavorings with that? I have. Uh and it's fine. It works, it works good, but uh I prefer my uh, water bubbles, bubbled water, just plain. And flavor. Okay, because I saw that they have, they sell like uh, syrups. You can add yeah. to that to make like your own Coke. But yeah. I guess you can use any flavoring. Yeah, you can. You can. Mm. Most of the ones that you buy that are specifically for that, I've noticed are like really super thick. So they're probably like oil based or something. No, uh, I think they make like a simple syrup. Well, and add the flavorings to it. Yeah, it's super yeah. sweet. No, no, no. These aren't this the the flavorings that came with this or that you can get for oh. this have no sugar in it. It's just the flavor. Oh, okay. yeah. This is riveting content. <laughs> it is, isn't it? I mean, hey, we have four people in here. So do we you have know, four? I'm sure. That's I'm pretty sure good. That <laughs> four. That's a lot. All right. Well, then, yeah, but fuck it. Carry on. Uh, we, What's your favorite vegetable? <laughs> Fidalgo is here. Fidalgo, yeah? check, check out your mm -hmm. ranch. Your ranch is much bigger here than in the other smaller channel. That's I mean, true. here yeah. your ranch matter. Right. You know? The it size has, of the ranch meaning. is... Yeah. It has meaning. You have power here. You have value. Pretty much everybody in here has a ranch at this point. Yeah, or they should. If, if they are right now in chat, they should have ranch and something else They're, if they don't like, have a wrench you want me to give them all a wrench just give everybody a wrench just no, yeah no. everybody go to no. <laughs> everybody go to DIY or die and tell them we're giving away free wrenches <laughs> <laughs> all you gotta do is show up man yeah just you show, show up, up you we'll get a wrench you, wrench. you guys just moderate yeah. each other <laughs> <laughs> We need different tiers of wrenches, you know, platinum wrenches, platinum premium. wrench, premium wrench, uh, yeah. black label wrench. And leave, okay, and we leave one guy without a wrench. Yeah, let's pick who it's going to be. <laughs> that would be so mean. Let's that take it away. From, one guy. Let's take it away from Leo. <laughs> 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 nah, I'm just kidding. Leo, Leo, Leo does work. He's the one that deserves the most. Yeah, yeah. He's, he does work. And Mowgli, too. Mowgli's good. And Mowgli, yeah. It was probably not a wise decision to give Mowgli a wrench, but... 
Hey, you know, he had been doing great. Yeah. It's a little bit of an anarchist society that we run. Yeah. We are I mean, that he's our Lord. Remember that all those messages that came up a few weeks ago? I mean, yeah, Mowgli yeah. and Leo, they were like banning him like crazy, you know? Yeah. Okay, let, let's do it with Frank. Frank Research here. Let's give everybody a, a, a wrench, but Frank for being late. That's right. Yeah. Consequences, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all guys are tough. Hey, yeah. we were on time Love this week. Kind of. Right? More or less. More yeah. or less. Okay, let me see. What the are we talking last, about? We have to talk about the last video we posted. We have to talk mm. about some recipes we tried. Oh, yeah. Uh, not our recipes. Recipes from other people, other mixers. And... Um, I don't know something else. I'm not I want to talk about it. something really quick. Uh, okay. Last Thursday, during the interactive mixing, you know, we were doing the strawberry taffy. That was a really tough recipe for us to throw onto the guys in the chat. I think yeah. it was really tough. Yeah, it didn't really turn out. I don't think the way any of us wanted it to. So this week, I've really been working on that taffy kind of base, and I I may have come close. Um, I don't want to give out the recipe yet because it's not quite finished. But I have to try it. Nachef, did did you you haven't mixed it up yet? No, no, I just arrived home. So I'm it's, I'm gonna mix it, it tonight. I know it looks really, really weird the, the, it, it all does. the flavors that I'm that I'm using in it. But yeah. I, I, it to me it's 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 pretty damn close to a taffy. I mean it feels the it's got that taffy kind of texture to it, which is odd. Yeah. Well, with the flavors that I'm using. Yeah, but I mean, I mean it, it makes sense in a weird way. I had to try mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. There's there's some there's some mind bending um, sensory memory tricks that I'm kind of using in this recipe. I like okay. that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. A little hurt but, that you so, didn't invite me to try the recipe, but you know, whatever. Yeah, but there's you, there's, you, a you taste there's a strawberry. Yeah, there's a, there's a strawberry in it that you you don't taste. Yeah. You wouldn't mix it up anyway. So do you want to take do you want to take my wrench away? What do you want do you want to take my wrench away? Oh, we took your wrench away years ago, buddy. No, you yeah. didn't. I still got one. Oh fuck, that's a screwdriver. You guys really pulled one out. You pulling the wool over my you eyes. Have one of those small multi tool for kids. Yeah. Yeah. I got a Swiss army knife, but it's got everything broken in it. <laughs> um, yeah, so, okay. What do you want to... Oh, let's talk about the episode first, right? It's not an episode first. Yep. <clears throat> but, okay. <laughs> uh, the video. <laughs> the video. Did, did everybody get a chance to watch it in the chat about the custards? The TFA Vanilla Custard 2... And the FA hey, Custard Premium. We have like five people here and like 500 views. So I guess if they are here, they watch the video. That's, pre that's a pretty good sense of uh, <laughs> analysis. <Yeah. laughs> okay. All right. Everybody ha has already watched it, so there's no need to talk about it. <laughs> no, 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 no. We have to talk about it. And we have some, okay. some comments. That... Perfect. Oh, I want to oh, talk yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I was just going to ask you if you could pull up comments. You're right on the ball, man. Do you want to pull up comments? <laughs> I'm going to give all the wrenches to Notchef. Yeah. Like, you like I have, have all a the wrenches. sack full of wrenches. I want to have my mind made. <laughs> You're greedy. You know. All the wrenches. Really okay. When, when we made this video, we didn't know what was going to happen because we didn't know if it was going to be just talking about these two flavorings and what is good and bad about one or the other, or if it was going to be something like, okay, this one is better than this one, like a competition, right? Yeah. yeah. But it, it kind of turned into just a conversation about the two flavors, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not, not necessarily yeah, well, if one is better than the other one. They're, so they're both great. You can't pick a that, winner. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That, that, that's okay. Our videos are not scripted. So that, that's the good thing about this, that we found out talking about it, that both have their advantages and disadvantages or, or one is better for one application than the other one is lacking in that area. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think it's, I'm not a huge fan. I mean, I use vanilla clusters a lot but not as main ingredient. And after talking to you, I realized some things that I, I haven't I haven't before. Like I was I was choosing like for me, FA was more about the 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 egginess. That there, there is not really egginess. Nah, it's more yeah. rich. And like it's like both a heavy rich. thing. It's like a heavy thing going on. Both, both are, are heavy, heavy, but it's... both are, are, are heavy. But one is like heavy and vanilla, and the other yeah. is just heavy and thick. It like thickens stuff up. It gives yeah. it mouthfeel. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. that that okay. Something like that. we are going to. Can I say it? That yeah. we are going sure. to. We're yeah. going to make. We already did. It has to be edited. A video about some of those concepts, like mouthfeel, things that we say, but even us didn't know if we were talking about the same. Are are you making fun of me, Max? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. No, I mean it. It can get it can get really confusing when when people are throwing out these words mouthfeel, texture, vibrant. Sensory memory. <laughs> sensory memory. That one uh, gets I mean, used appropriately. Yeah, yeah, it does. And most people get what that is. But some of these other words, uh, you know, we had to have a discussion amongst ourselves. Like, yeah. are, do, are you, are, do you think that it's the same thing as I do? Yeah, and then we, we have the same we, talk with, with Max about female parts. <laughs> but I don't know if that's recorded where we had to tell you, okay, this is this, you know? And to be honest, I'm still a little confused. <laughs> yes, we know. I can't. <laughs> huh? You know, uh, practice makes perfect. I just got to get more practice in. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, all right. You want to go through some of these comments, though? Yeah, why not? Fucker, do you want to start? Because my English I don't, is... I don't, I don't have the comments up already. Okay, so deal with it. Uh, David Reagan said, I didn't, I didn't know TPA Vanilla Caster 2 was a high-ranking caster. When I want a full caster flavor, a fake premium caster is what I think of first. I haven't tried other casters with the hopes of making the FA last longer but none have topped that super flavor. I will give a TPA a try next time. Wait, first it's weird that he didn't know that TPA Vanilla Caster 2 was like a high rank flavor because there was like a huge hype yeah. around that flavor. And also mm -hmm. FA Premium Caster is not one that is going to fade a lot for me. List. No, no, I don't think he's, that's what he's referring to. I think he's saying that he goes through it so quickly and it's a pain in the ass to buy it. That's the way okay. I I got it. I think he's going through so much of it because he likes it so much. Oh, last longer. He yeah. Has la like make to... that flavor last longer because it's harder right. to buy. Okay. okay. That's what I. That's the way I kind of interpreted it. But... Yeah. So so he was he, he was trying out other custards, so that he wouldn't have to maybe go through so much FA custard. Premium. Which I, I I I've done that. Like, for example. For me, it's much easier to get TPA Capella flavor was FA than Wonder Flavors Flavora or something weird like that. So sometimes I mix some like strawberry, like strawberry gummy candy, with some TPA or Capella if I want to make that Wonder Flavor last longer. I use less. Yeah. Yeah, but there was a there was a big uh, kind of thing going around that. 
when TPA <laughs> Vanilla Custard 2 came out that it was going to be the replacement for FA Custard. And in that yeah, case, that's... if you're if if you're trying to use TPA Vanilla Custard 2 to to replace that FA, no. it's it, not yeah, gonna, it it's not going to replace it. In certain situations, it might. If you're if if you're if your profile has like a vanilla in it and you're adding a vanilla to it and you're using the FA custard, maybe. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Yeah. But they're two, they're two different custards. I I don't think they're I mean they're similar in texture and similar in mouthfeel and stuff, but the flavor I think is much different. I don't think the liquid is going to taste bad if you replace one for the other. It's going yeah. to taste different. Yeah. Yeah. Which Not how gr- sure. How great is it though that they're not like that it's not a replacement that we have two really good custards because they're they're not like any of the other custards that we have. Like Capella, um Inawera. Inawera is super weird. Um I don't think that it's good that we have another good custard. It's not like <clears throat> team TFA and team, you know, FA. Yeah. I think it's cool that we have another tool to use. Instead of just pick one, you know, because you're always yeah. going to have people on either side, but they're both super useful. It depends on which recipe, what kind of recipe you're making, whatever profile you want to use. Maybe you do want more of the vanilla. Maybe you want some more of that decadence yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah. Avery. <clears throat> can, can I change the subject just for a second? Because Fidalgo, I don't know why he's asking, how often do you three mix things just for you that you don't publish? <laughs> Mainly. All the time? Yeah, daily. <laughs> well, not yes. daily. Like, I make a 60 mil. I don't, I don't publish anything, really. It's, it's boring shit. I mean, it's not anything yeah. that I, I feel like is all the flavors worthy. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not... Yeah. I'm not doing anything different. It's. I have a similar feeling. I mean, when when I discover something that I feel that is worth sharing, I share it with develop, and then we do something with it. We put publish as something from develop, and that's the only reason why I would make recipe published today. But I public today is if I'm I can teach something with that or show something with that recipe. Like, hey, if you use this with this, it's going to make that, you know? Mm. Because I'm mixing things every day. I try things every day, things that are good, some of them, but I don't, I don't see the value in making them public, you know? Yeah, I get that, but my, like my personal style too, like they're just, it's nothing I should post. You know what I mean? Like. It's it's basic stuff. Like we do some more intense like mixing, like going after harder profiles or trying to find like cool like little tricks or stuff to do to achieve that profile, like all the mm-hmm. episodes that we've done. But yeah. I don't I don't vape that way. I hardly ever remix yeah. the recipes that we've done. Most of what I'm mixing is simple stuff. For me, I'm I'm mixing basically every every day. Uh, there's there's days that I don't, but uh, I'm always trying to find new tricks and stuff. And if if I come across something that I feel like um, w- one thing that I kind of have to balance is you know I I, I sell one shots, but I also want mm-hmm. to make stuff public. Um, and one one way that I can do that if if I find uh, a good recipe that I feel like is is really really good, but if you look at it, it's like it's not really, it's not really made to make a one shot out of. Like you're using really pricey ingredients or, or stuff like that. That's those are some of the recipes that I can make public. Uh, you know that that kind of works for me. I like to make recipes public. I like to yeah, give stuff too. away. Um, yeah, but, but we do it with develop. I mean. If yeah, if the ve- if I, I I wouldn't be in developed, I would be making more of my own stuff public. Mm. But I feel this is yeah. a better platform to 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 give knowledge to people or to share recipes, if it is from the three of us, because it's usually something that the three of us tested and we agree is good or bad. 
Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I don't, I don't make near the amount of recipes public that I used to just because we do work on so many recipes, us three. Um, and you know, we, we try to make some of those public and everything, but yeah, just for me yeah, personally but that I don't, that I don't publish, uh, I'm always mixing something up and trying out. And yeah. I mean, I've got, I've got testers on my desk here. It's covered in testers. And All the time. that's kind of what I, that's kind of what I vape is just testers. You know, every once in a while, I'll mix up a uh, 120 mil of something. But well, just just here, I have two testers. I did the other day for, with FA Castor Extra one and two, and it's something I, I I try it. So then we can make recipes with it with in develop, and we make it public. But it's not that I'm going to make public what I try first. You know. Something that yeah. I use to make recipes. Yeah. But it was a valid question. I, I think it was important to talk about it. Sure. Fidago also so, said this uh, back to the, the custards. He says that he kind of prefers the, the TPA vanilla custard too, like with fruits and custards and stuff. And he, he kind of, and he then prefers the premium custard for the bakeries and stuff. That kind of makes sense. Yeah. yeah makes I never sense. thought about that, but yeah. That does make sense. sense. It's a little bit more less buttery, so it it pairs better with fruits. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that vanilla bright. too kind of helps. Yeah, with the brightness of the vanilla helps with the strawberry mm -hmm. or strawberries, fruit. Yeah, yeah. Well, if strawberry is a fruit, it is a fruit. Uh, yeah, there is another comment. Uh, from Lee Holden. Well, we have a couple of comments, but um, very informative. I have three personal favorite casters, which are FA Castor Premium, Molinberry, Legendary Castor, and TPA uh, V2. What do you think about Molinberry? Because we didn't talk about it in this particular video. I haven't, I haven't used it. Legendary? Yet. Yeah. I mean, I don't I don't think it's anything special. But I, do you think it belongs with the premium caster um, TPA V2? No. At all, no. No. I don't find it useful. Um, I don't really like it. I don't really like the vanilla. I don't like... I feel like it has an off note to it. It's kind of like maybe... I don't know if it's plastic or... It's dry. It's chemical. I taste chemicals. If I have, if, if some, okay, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, if if somebody is is looking for, uh, I, I I don't hate it, but if if somebody is looking for something that's dap free, that might be a decent option. You know. Yeah. Um, that's that's all I was going to say. If I have to choose, like a third, if I can only use three casters i would probably use mm, in between babe train vanilla cream or flavora vanilla pudding vape chain's warm custard is pretty good but i want something different i mean if if i only have three i want something different from the other two very different you know something where the other two wouldn't be the best choice yeah i mean Call me crazy, but Vape Train's ice cream, kind of a custard. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's uh, it's like, you know, what you would, what people would pr try to get away calling a custard, but it's not. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. It's pretty rich. It's thick. It's like, it's like melted ice cream, but like really, really rich and thick. Very rich. Yeah. Buttery too. Um, yeah, maybe. Warm custard's not bad too. Doesn't it have like a little spice in it or something? The warm custard? I don't know. Maybe. I didn't think it tasted warm. It, I don't know. Maybe it does. I don't remember. I think it has. I, I think it has just a just a, a little bit of not necessarily a pepper note, but some some type of a. Like a nutmeg? Thing. Well, it's not it's not it's not very much it's not very much it's not it's not heavily spiced yeah but it's not plain it's not vanilla 
Castro yeah. and that's it. There is something yeah. else going on. It's not even very vanilla y, you know? It doesn't really it doesn't jump out as being like vanilla. I mainly get custard, I guess. Um Yeah. yeah. Leo said yeah, he's used in Oh go ahead. No, go ahead. Well, Leo said that he used he's used uh, Inuera custard and Mullenberry legendary custard, and he likes Inuera because it doesn't take long to steep. Mullenberry's got quite a steep on it too, doesn't it? Like, which one? Not, uh, the Mullenberry, the legendary custard. That takes I don't know. Quite I have, a while. Inuera, it doesn't for sure, but yeah, I don't like it. But there's not there's not really a long steep on. FA custard premium or no, no. TPA V2. There's e really yeah. not. It's not like Capella where it's like pretty gross. It's yeah. going to change, but it's not going to change a lot. It's not that you're going to have like a different liquid now than in two weeks. It's going to be a little bit different. Yeah. It's just, it's, it, it's, it seems to get just a little bit uh, richer, if that makes sense. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I just but, don't get uh, what people get from Inawera. It doesn't remind me anything of a custard. It's a cream that doesn't, it's a thick cream that doesn't require a steep, but it doesn't remind me anything like a custard. Well, but you have to think when we had that one. I mean, we were using TPA Vanilla Custard 1 and, and Capella Vanilla Custard 1. Yeah. So it made sense when that showed up to to be something different, you know. Not only the flavor, also because you could use it in a one shot, for example, something that you need the less steeping time possible. That's one thing with 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 one shots. When you are developing a one shot recipe to sell, I mean, you have to think how long it's going to take it to steep. Because if you ask people, okay. Buy my one shot, but you have to wait two months to baby it. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't make much sense. No. no. You got another comment? Uh, that's, oh, I think that's all of the comments other than just great video. Yeah. Well, we can read those too. <laughs> <laughs> Great video, but Max sucks. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's not a comment. It's not a real comment. Oh, that's mine. That's my comment. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was on, on our Discord. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. um, all right. So, all right. You want to talk about some uh, recipes and shit? Sure. Sure. All right. He wants to um, go first. You want me to go first? Yeah, it don't matter to me. Go. Oh. Go for it. Okay. I got. Uh, I asked the Discord if they had any recipe they wanted me to try. The only one who came up with anything was McDucky. So you got another McDucky recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I was really excited that he was going to make this too. That he started talking about this maybe a uh, month or so ago, maybe two months ago that he was going after this profile. It's a key lime Kit Kat. You can't stop Kit Kat from trying to make a fucking Kit Kat out of anything. <laughs> they, they, make, they make so many strange flavors, Kit Kat. I got, <laughs> my wife brought home some, some Kit Kats the other day. But they were just like, no, wait a minute. It wasn't Kit Kat. It was Twix. And it was, uh, it was, in, it was so it different. Was in singles, <laughs> but it was in singles. You know, they, they come in pairs. Yeah. And one said left and the other said right. Yeah. <laughs> they, left they Twix is better. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Never mind. Kit Kat. Um, <laughs> I've had these and they're, they're, they're really good. They they definitely taste like they have like TPA key lime in it, which McDucky used. Uh, he's got TPA key lime, lemon cream wafer, sugar cookie, uh, Flavora sweetness, Flavor West white chocolate, fla uh, Flavora white chocolate. I think too. 
maybe he can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm I'm pretty sure he doesn't like uh shortbread cookies. So I wonder what he thinks of the sugar cookie. Cause I think they're pretty similar, but maybe he doesn't get that off note that he gets from shortbread cookies. We tried both in one recipe. We tried to replace the shortbread with sugar cookie. And I don't remember what we said about it. I think it was softer. Yeah, maybe it's a little not as dark too. Yeah. You know? Um I mean this is this is a pretty good um it's a pretty good start. I feel like the key lime needs to be a little bit I don't know what it is. I think it's because I don't like lemon cream wafer. There's something about that I just get cardboard from it. And maybe this mm -hmm. takes a long time to steep. It says seven days. I just I, I don't know. I I, I want to see what does happen with it, but I still feel like the key lime could be a little bit brighter. The chocolate's pretty good. It does taste like white chocolate and key lime. Um I don't I don't know if lemon cream wafer is the best choice. Maybe it maybe it is. Maybe it needs a steep. What about the crunch? Because Kit Kats are crunchy. Is sugar cookie and, and whatever is in lemon cream wafer enough to give you that feeling? I don't know. Like I get the there's something with lemon cream wafer where I think it's the lemon that I get from it that it it's almost has like a spiciness to it. Have you ever gotten that? Like a lemon that's it's like yeah. a spicy lemon. Yeah. I get a little bit yeah. of that. Like it's a little bit peppery or something. Um it's kind of distracting me from it like that the bakery or whatever is going on with lemon cream wafer. But I can tell that there's enough of a bakery it's not like it's a lot of texture mm -hmm. i don't even know like like would tpa graham cracker cross be like a bad choice here or like jungle flavors graham cracker like you just need an impression of a bakery but something that can sit separate is tough you need the texture not the flavor you do want a little bit of flavor though but just mm. to touch. And to me, I feel like there's a little bit too much bakery. Um, the sweetness, the flavor of sweetness, I definitely think that's helping like the, the mouthfeel of like the chocolates. Yeah. Maybe like shisha vanilla could work here too to make it even a little bit more waxy. And like maybe give what it more separation. What do you think about using like lemon meringue pie instead of the lemon cream yeah. wafer? Because I the mean, meringue maybe. work with the white chocolate and you have like a little bit of crust. Yeah. Yeah, it's not too dark either. Mm -hmm. I think the, the biggest, the hardest thing that's going to be to pull off a Kit Kat is separation. You know, like having yeah. <clears throat> the waxiness of the chocolate, a little bit of like a crispy kind of bakery. And then that key lime has to be right up front. That's tough. That's that's yeah. a lot of tricky layering. Um, do you think yeah. do you think adding some something that's got some AP in it would help that separation between the chocolate mm -hmm. and the I don't know with lime. With lime, even know. the slightest bit, it's, it's lime and cream wafers. So it, it, it's, it's nuts and stuff already, you know? Mm -hmm. it, it tastes yeah, like but, everything but from Mulberry. But it's not toasted. It shouldn't be toasted. It's not that dark. It's just, it's, it's anything that comes from Mulberry, for the most part, I just get cardboard. If it's a bakery, I get cardboard. And I don't think Kevin Nevada's any different when it comes to the lemon cream wafer. I bought a 30 mil of it because people were don't buy mm. into the fucking hype, people. That is <laughs> this is a this is a yeah. huge problem that I have. Don't buy into the fucking hype. Because people are saying, oh, it's really good, but you gotta use it really high. 
it's at 1.5 i can taste mostly that um it's not it's a really good start i don't know how you can achieve that level of separation and i don't know i i, I just i the, this is one that would mo like just boggle my mind it's I don't a, know how it's a dark profile yeah and i'm just trying to be honest i don't want to shit on it because i don't want to i don't feel like that's I, I wish i could give more help but i don't even know where to start i'm glad you started here because i just know <laughs> i don't want to just say oh it's not good you know i'm trying and it's not good to try it again it sucks it's it's not totally accurate it's not unvapable most people would probably like this if you like lemon cream wafer you probably would to me it's just not the you know key lime kit kat i think the chat is giving ssa shortbread cookie as an option no <laughs> cardboard Dark. Yeah. I don't like it. I I don't think there's any difference between shortbread cookie and shortbread biscuit. One's a little bit less like there is difference. They're both cardboard, bro. <laughs> One's a little bit it, more toasted though. Yeah. I taste mostly it's AP, good. but like cardboard. And Bruno Serra, shortbread cookies as I say is very different from Wonder Flavors. Completely different. Very. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Um. Yeah. I wish I could give more help. The only thing I could think of, like the mindset that I would go into after trying this, I would say to try to focus on having as much white chocolate, and then also try to incorporate, like, oh, you almost have to think about it as two different recipes: a key lime pie and a Kit Kat, but you got to push like the waxiness and the white chocolate that much further to make it feel like it is a Kit Kat. I don't know. Right. Yeah. Maybe it's a hard profile. cream cheese Maybe. icing. I don't know. I I'm already going crazy trying to figure it out. Maybe we should work together. No, I, <laughs> I think that the problem here is to, to find that, that crunch, that bite that you need. In, yeah. In but a Kit -Kat. like in so crispy, Crispy wafer is not going to be it. Rice crunchies isn't going to be it. No, you, you almost have to. You almost have to introduce something that isn't a Kit Kat, that isn't a wafer. Something that's more crunchy than that, just to get it to yeah feel like there's a crunch in it. And you so, like Frank Frank, Frank Rizzo is saying, zero twenty seven. That's kind of where I would go. Yes, it's you know not what? a wafer. Maybe. But I'm afraid of the AP. Yeah. But you can work that in lower. 0.5 of that, I don't know. That might do something to a graham cracker, you know? It might I it's this is one of those really really hard to layer recipes. Well, the the, the hard part is that you have lime and white chocolate. I mean, and that whatever you add to it is going to affect those flavorings and you do, you don't want a b in the white chocolate or in the lime it's going to be fucking weird mm. yeah it, it, it needs separation it, 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 yeah it needs separation you know biscuit gives a separation you know where biscuit but yeah you know where biscuit but it might be i don't know maybe that butteryness could help with the white chocolate um i think this recipe would change a lot if you change the the sweetener. I don't I, I don't know. I feel like maybe maybe using flavor waste sweetener. Yeah. Yeah. But you can't take the key lime. So let me talk about the the lime real quick too. Adding like a little touch of like F.E. lemon, just a touch underneath it, I don't think you'd get lemon. I think you might push that lime up a little mm -hmm. bit more. But is that going to get chemical with the key lime at 3%? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I, I want to like this recipe. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let it steep the whole time. It is literally mixed fresh today. 
Um, I do want to like it. I think it's a really good start. I don't like. I don't want to sound like I'm shitting all over it, but no, no, I, no. I have no idea because, what I would do. Because we don't know how to make it better. We are just thinking around the rest, thinking with McDucky about the recipe. Yeah. And he, we can make it better. And he, he can take like, you know, criticism and shit too. So I'm not like worried about that, but, um, I, I wish I knew. I mean, we're going to have to, we'll, we'll talk about it in the discord, I guess, because yeah, I want yeah, this yeah, yeah. to happen. I just don't know how. <clears throat> yeah. Maybe we can talk about it in the, in the next Q and a, which is what Tuesday. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm going to try a different version with the flavorings I have because I, I don't have lemon cream wafer and maybe we can talk about those in the Q and a. Yeah. That's a good talk. Yeah. yeah. So Fokker, what do you have? You want me to go next? Yeah, why not? Okay. So, um, this was probably going to go a little bit like Max's review. Um, oh, I'd love to hear it. <laughs> so uh, I've been hearing a lot over the last year about uh, uh, Fomit Life's, uh, not Goober Grape, but Grubber Grape, mm -hmm. V2. And it's actually on uh, all the flavors, like most popular, like he's like number four most popular of the year. And I just wanted to mix it up. I think he asked me to mix this up a long time ago, and I didn't have one of the flavors. And it was, I think it was a, a Capella Concord Grape with Stevia. I ordered it months and months ago and forgot to mix it up. So I saw it on all the flavors. I thought, okay, I'm going to mix that up. I want to see if he has cracked the code on Goober Grape. So, oh, boy. First thing, first thing I want to say is I just mixed this up. I should have mix it up and let it steep for at least seven days because he said seven days but just from what i'm picking up right now um there's a there seems to be this is such this is such a hard profile this is probably the hardest profile <laughs> ever ever i don't know why we didn't quit after our episode of <laughs> I, know, I, I went for about a month after after we recorded that and was shot and still there's something about peanut butter and grape. When you put it, when you put the flavors together, one always outweighs the other one. You can never get a perfect match between the two. And that's what you want in a PB and J. You want to get the full peanut butter, but you want to get the full jelly. It's like, okay, the peanut butter's not enough. Well, let's add a little bit more nut to it or something. And do, do you need puppets for this? Down. Yes. Right. And the jelly goes down. <laughs> And he's like, okay, well, let me add a little bit more grape, maybe some more super sweet. And then the, the peanut butter goes down. It's just a continual fight back and forth, and you never can get it to work right. And I feel that he probably dealt with the same thing with this recipe. Um, I do get a peanut butter kind of vibe or a nut vibe from it, but There's it's a lot not of hand talking. Butter. I know. <laughs> <laughs> not just okay okay I, I, I got it i got it i got it okay this is peanut butter <laughs> <laughs> this is great so you have it here and you want it to be like attacking the other one right exactly exactly okay. exactly <laughs> now i mean i don't i i really i do not want to say anything bad about this recipe because i know how difficult these types of recipes are they're super super hard and it must be really really popular because it's in the top mixed for the for the year and so some people must really really like this for me I, the part that really kind of i don't like about it is the fact that i get something that is similar to a bread but it's not it's not a bread if he had left the bread out just made it peanut butter and jelly he probably could have pulled this off better than than what i'm tasting mm. uh mm. It, i don't know it just it it doesn't feel like a, it, it feels like v very, it, very yeasty kind of bread in there with some sourdough flavors, <laughs> with some flavors of a nut and some grape. I mean, I don't want to shit on it. I really don't, but I have to be honest. It's just, but I don't want to be too critical because I know how hard of a recipe this is. It's just, it's just 
I don't think it's balanced right. Um, and if somebody can ever figure out how to balance great jelly and peanut butter together, then they're going to win the prize of like the world or something. <laughs> the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I mean, it, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. But it to me, it's not quite there yet. I, I, I think it's it a, would, I think it's a good start. I, I think the grape is a pretty good grape in this. I, I, but uh, the I think the real work needs to be done on the peanut butter side. But then again, like I said, you get into that fight, then you, you try to increase the peanut butter, and the yeah. grape goes down. It's just like a continual seesaw, back and forth, back and forth. I I, I bet it's going to change after a week. Because of the flavors yeah. he has, like croissant, hazelnut, yeah. uh, starch base. And yeah. I mean, there is a lot of people saying that the recipe is incredible. I, I, I trust you. I, I trust in your taste. But I mean, there is people that really like this recipe. I mean, yeah, I'm saying this to, to so people try it if they, they, yeah. they like this profile. Yeah. And, and I could be, I could be talking way out of, uh, term here because I haven't let it steep for seven days. I will come back to this recipe after seven days and we'll talk about it in a future show. But uh, as it stands right now, it just that that bread for me is just really getting mm -hmm. in the way. But um, the peanut butter and the I mean, jelly is good? There's not enough peanut butter and the, the jelly <laughs> is there, but you know, you get back to that balancing act. I think the bread part is interfering with the peanut butter. That's probably the best way to put it. Okay. But, get, uh, go get the marionette. It's not, it's, I need, it's an, not, I need it, another it's, example. It, <laughs> it's not, fun. It, oh, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. But uh, it, it, you know, it just, it's not a, it's not a PB&J to me. It's, I was doing scary. the marionette things. Yeah, it's mysterious. I mean, I, I hate I hate to say Ooh, that about grape uh, jelly about this recipe because <laughs> this person is an excellent excellent mixer and and you know not just like you said there's there's several people that said like man this is the shit I don't know maybe my taste buds are fucked up uh, but for me not yet uh, it's it's not a PB and J damn okay. I'd like to see one it it probably can't be done. It probably can. It probably can be done. We're talking about all like the hardest like to tackle profiles. Really? I mean, this this is yeah. pretty fucking tough. Yeah. But I'm gonna I'm gonna come back to it after a week, and you know I may have to retract everything that I said in this episode. Or not? Oh boy. Or, or not? Just I don't be know. a piece of shit. Or whatever. You know. But I commend <laughs> him. You hate that guy. But yeah. I commend him on tackling this recipe. Uh, and putting the work in, and I, I think I think he's he's I think this recipe could there could be some really nice tricks in here, like the beer nuts. I like the beer nuts in there. Um, it just let me let 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 me let it steep for seven more days, and I'll come back to it. Y'all know. It's funny how okay. like that's probably the meanest thing you've ever said to anybody in your entire life. <laughs> In in meanwhile, I mean, you I, still I apologize have, like fifteen times. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I have this I, I have this idea in my head what a PB and J would taste like in a vape form, and I've yet to experience that. I'm wanting to experience that because I love peanut butter and jelly. I want it so bad, and I've tried many versions of that profile and completely failed. He's, I mean, you know, I, you know, I'm, I'm right there with him. I don't think he's failed, but. Oh. Right. Oh. You said he failed. You called I him a fucking say that. fire. I didn't Dogs say that. Fire. I said, I failed. I failed at it. So, you know, I'm one to talk. So what you're saying is if, if I can't do it, nobody can. Right. No, that's not what I'm saying. Yeah, that was. A, <laughs> if you read between the lines, you have a. That e I'm saying yeah. that anybody between can the puppets, do it. I just, I just yeah. haven't done it yet. So he gave him the folk art. Fuck you, pretty much oh, the seal so, of oh, approval. No, fuck you. Hey, forgive like, me. Hey, yeah, like I, I say, seven days. Seven days. I may have to like you know get my foot 
and just stick it right in my mouth. And I say, can't I wait was to see total it. Total idiot. I, sh- I should have let it steep before even talking about it. So we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Better start practicing your Pilates or some shit so you can fucking get that thing up there. <laughs> <laughs> your Kegels. I don't know. <laughs> all, I can, all I can go by is, is what I'm tasting. So. All right. <sighs> All right, nice try, loser. Um, (laughs) 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 Uh, What do you got there, (laughs) Nonchef? Okay. Uh, Since I I didn't want to talk shit about anybody like you did, I went with a really simple recipe. Simple, I mean, because it's only three flavors, one, two, three recipe. It's by Hobbs. That the vape is Hobbs stone sugar cookie, and he or she is using one percent FA cookie, three percent cup sugar cookie, and two percent FA vanilla cookie. That is one of the new releases from Flavor Art. I wanted to try this recipe because. When I tried the FA vanilla cookie by itself, I was a little bit disappointed. I don't know if you have if you tried that one. Uh, it is it is very vanilla. No, it's not. Very, it, it has a very bright vanilla flavor. That doesn't make sense for something that is cooked, because when you cook something, it usually the the, the bright notes from the vanilla usually fades. And the cookie parts is very soft, not in texture, in flavor. It's like a sugar cookie without the sugar. You know those those cookies that is like a swirl? Like a perfiterol? Sus- I don't fucking no, know. It's, it's a cookie with the shape of something that like you do it with sharp shortbread. Yeah, it's like shortbread. The yeah, but it's, it's not it's like a, it tastes like shortbread though, like those Danish like, butter cookie kind of things. It's like basic dough cooked. Like if you took the dough that you use for a pie, for a pie crust, and you make a cookie out of it That's without like sugar, kind of like shortbread. Yeah, it's is very, it a biscuit? No, it's super dull flavor, and then bright vanilla. I mean, for me, vanilla cookie is a, is a good vanilla to use in bakeries, but it's not a great bakery, okay? So I, w- I was a little bit disappointed with that flavoring coming from FA that they had, like FA cookie. You know, they know how to make a cookie. Yeah. They forgot. Um, they forgot. In this case... The use of FA cookie and cup sugar cookie is adding to that to that vanilla cookie where, where you had that bright vanilla but nothing in the cookie department. Everything it needs. Like FA cookie is giving the, the crunch and more like a more dark vibe from a cookie, more like a cooked vibe, baked vibe. And cup sugar cookie is giving that it's soft, but the flavor is from a sugar cookie. The only thing that I don't like about this as a base is the vanilla. There is a lot of vanilla. It has everything is perfect, but you have to know that it is a base for a cookie that is going to have very present vanilla flavor. When okay. you pair it, because this, this is something that is made to be used with something else to add to it. You know, you can add the spices. If, I mean, he says you can add. Uh, ephemerine, butter, cheesecake, whatever you want, uh, coconut, fruits, caramel, butterscotch. But you have to know that you have to pair whatever you add to that bright vanilla. It's going to be there in the middle. It's not like a plain cookie. But I think it's a great use of, it's a great fix for a FA vanilla cookie that is not like a full flavor, uh, flavoring. To use for a cookie. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So you think this would this would be good, like as a as a lemon cookie or something like that? Well, 
there is something going on in vanilla cookie, something like like lemon. It's not like a lemon. You know when you make like a dough, like a pie crust, and you add just a little bit of lemon zest to add like a touch of something to boost the flavor? Mm. It has that feeling. And, but yeah, it would be a great base to make a lemon cookie, for example. Or even if you add something like caramel, butterscotch, brown sugar, or cinnamon, something like that. Things that you can use with vanilla. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't do a strawberry jam with this, for example. Hmm. Probably. What about like, remember the eggnog cookie? Remember that? Long time well, ago? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Yeah, maybe that. Like, do like the chai tea with the eggnog frosting. Yeah, you can do that. That could be cool. The vanilla would totally work. Soft. Yeah. Or or you're going to, I don't know, maybe. I, I think if you want to do more like a plain cookie with that is not a base, you know, where a biscuit. Yeah. Would add butter. I mean, you can't go wrong. There, add, yeah. yeah, it's going to, to add everything you need to make it more like a perfect cookie. Like a it's butter a cookie? Really good base. Yeah. It's a really good base. I like it. Yeah. All right. You win, Hobbs. Great job. Great job. Yeah. Awesome. It looks like a pretty interesting, simple base. Yeah. How long? I, I saw another recipe with similar flavorings. Not similar flavoring, but it was also by Sensory Overload. He made one that is called Nice. Nice. Is, nice is the name. Let me let me send you the, the link. I got it right it's, here. It's a, it's a very similar idea. He's using 1% in a wear biscuit, 2% flavorless grand cracker, and 3% FA vanilla cookie. I fuck with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is more like a biscuit, I feel. That looks good. I like that. It's more like a biscuit biscuit. Yeah, baby. Did you say it's called Nas? Nice. Yeah, let me let me put the link in chat. So people can see it. Must be a we butter the bread with butter reference. I have to try this one. I I didn't, but I should try to compare both. I think both can be super useful. This one is more like it's not a base. It's like it's a, a cookie. Yeah, yeah. That I mean, I like that because I sometimes I crave flavor West graham cracker. That like little bit of like yeah brown sugar spiciness to it, cinnamon mm-hmm. and shit. I like that. Yeah, complex because it's a spicy, but it's not like capella graham cracker. It's not annoying it's not yeah it's, it's not like cinnamon spice i'm gonna take this and i'm gonna make a quadrinity hey why not what would you add to this i can't I'm gonna fucking fucking tell you i'm not gonna tell anybody <laughs> yet <laughs> i didn't even have the vanilla cookie so i'll probably probably be making a quadrinity pretty soon kind of sparked my memory I know what to do. Are are we doing that? I, mm, I'm gonna. The, the, I guess the now. Assignment, the 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 quadruple. The, the what? How is it? Well, are quadrupedo. we going to do it? Like, are they gonna do it, or are we yeah, also gonna do it? No, they, they for the assignment. Fuck they? yeah, yeah, they're doing it. Yeah. Okay. Fuck yeah, I want to see that. Every remember, dude. That was what year was that when everybody was like doing trinities and shit for like the whole year. Like 20... When Alfred was mixing. So, Alfred, it was about, it was about was two years ago. 2018? Yeah. 2019? No, two years ago it was 2020. <laughs> no, 2019, yeah. Oh, 2019. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, time Stupid. zones, buddy. I'm in the future. You know that. Quintet. Is that what it's actually called? I like quadrinity. No, it's five. Oh yeah. 
Stupid Fidalgo. Take his wrench away. Bad at math. <laughs> we only want people with wrenches who are good at math. <laughs> Come on. Quintet um, is like a quintet of strings. That's a marionette. Or a harp. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have to do that. Okay, extra points if the recipe is one, two, three, four in percentages. Oh, yeah, extra points. They don't get anything out of it. What do you mean? We're taking away extra <laughs> Oh, we should rank them this time. No, then we'd have to try them all. <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. No, we just talk about way. those that we don't like. Yeah, Poker I'm going to pick do that. that he's, he's in that trend of. Yeah. Yeah. I can do what? <laughs> You're gonna shit all over. You're gonna just mix the bad ones, and you're gonna tell everybody, "Suck it." <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, I I had a question for you guys. Maybe we should talk about this off air. But what do you guys think about doing like a year end wrap up, like a best recipes of the year thing, like at the end of the year? Not now. It wouldn't make sense to do it now. Just saying. And how 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 do we choose the recipes? Just some of our favorite ones. I I like that tipsy pear a lot. I think I think I'm oh not say from it. us. No, I'm not gonna pick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So number one is uh, developed. Oh. Number two is developed. <laughs> developed. <laughs> yeah. Can we have like the sad boy was really good from developed. So that's number one. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we no. could we could do something like that. We could do something like yeah, that. Yeah, why not? Maybe we could have them like if they want us to try it and like because here here's the thing I didn't like about like when Wayne did it, it was kind of like a like whatever he happened to try. You know what I mean? So if you want if us to Wayne, try it, huh? If Wayne do that, I guess he's going to do it like in June. <laughs> yeah <laughs> he did it he he missed his mark yeah no <laughs> yeah like... <laughs> but if we do it uh, maybe that would be a good way if we did do a hashtag again like if you posted it you just added the hashtag like when we're gonna collect them and then uh we could try as many vote. as we could yeah do you want them to vote oh i don't know I don't know. We'll think about it. Do you guys want to do something yeah. like that? Like a year-end wrap-up? I think we should do something like that, yeah. I don't think I don't that there's... all the details yet, but... There's been no competitions or anything. It's like... I feel like I never hear about, like, highly... Like, you remember, like, when recipes were, like, highly, highly, like, acclaimed and shit? Like, people were, like, yeah. all talking about it? I feel like it's yeah, been You years. have to try these, yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's been literally years since people have, like, God, mother, just what the fuck? <laughs> every time. Yep, every time. Every fucking time. You know, it would probably help if you, like, plug those up. I told uh, you. Forget about it. Forget about it. That one was that. plugged in. That one was fucking plugged in. This one died, and then that one, um, that one fucking died. Uh, these are terrible How many lights. How lights do you need? To look I'm, like shit. I'm very, very pale. And I need that separation for me and the wall. So. <laughs> takes like 12 lights. How many lights does it take to show this pink face off? 12. You should try the sun. As a light. The so sun it's... makes me more pink. I try to stay inside as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, we should we should do that. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? yeah. But we'll I, I would like it to of... be like a competition. Yeah. We'll, maybe we'll talk about it. Maybe we'll figure that out. If you guys have any ideas, comment them. Because we literally, I literally just thought of it, so I brought it up. But if you have any ideas on how to do it, put it in the comments because we're open to suggestions. Yeah. Hey, Adi, thank you. Uh, we are very sorry about the Miller, about your mom. Oh, yeah. Sorry, man. Yeah, sucks. Mm. Shit, dude. Sorry to hear mm. that. Yeah. 
Um, uh, yeah, we should do that. If, they, right. if you have ideas, guys, let us know in the right. comments or the description. Yeah. Description works too. Mm -hmm. I don't read it as no, often, though. <laughs> I read the comment. I read the comments. I read all the comments. Um, all right. That it? So what have we got next week? What have we got next week? Uh, you bought We Blind Mix? That's it. Yep. Something, that was it. That's something like that. Something like that. But Tuesday, we have the Q&A with our uh, Platinum members. That's the right. first thing. Yep. Uh, is, is our time still going to be the same? Next we don't know. Mm. Next week? We don't yeah. know yet. Yeah, okay. next week. Okay. Next week, same I think time. so. Yeah. Yeah. Next week. Um, um and, and then the blind remix, I think. Yeah. And I believe it's my turn. Right? Yes, it I think is. You were you were the last one. If Max isn't gonna do it. I mean I could pretend. I could bring out the no, Don Juan you. again. <laughs> <laughs> Change the name. Yeah, this is um yeah, I'll Jose just... <laughs> Juan. Don Don yeah. Roberto. Don Juan uh Don Hector. Don <laughs> yeah, Don <laughs> Hector. <laughs> All right. Um, All right, guys. So other than that, you can go to developdiy.com and check out all the content that we put out. You can mix up some of the latest recipes that we put on here. Um, got the membership. You guys know about the membership. We got two tiers, premium and platinum. And then we got one shots over at. You want to tell them about the crafted line? Not sure. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, sure. We have the crafted line in chefflavors.cu.uk. CU. That's, okay. That's pretty close. Fuck, man. <laughs> well, very close. <laughs> that's our. That's like eight flavorings. Eight, right? Eight one shots. And we have everything. We have milkshakes, we have cheesecakes, we have sodas, we have... We got cheesecakes, too. Yeah, we have <laughs> cheesecakes, too. We have everything there. Um, you should try them. They are all in stock again. Uh, buy them before they run out. What? Also, I want to say that uh, now until the end of August, Chefs is running a 10% off sale on our one shots, along with all of the other uh support the creator one shots on their website so that's 10 percent off nice. the the uh the discount is already applied to the price when you when you go over there so you know no coupons necessary 10 percent off nice yeah for that quality yeah. that's hot that's robbery <laughs> <laughs> so Fuka, tell them about the diner line yeah, so the diner line, we have five, that's five wonderfully, deli delicately crafted one shots. We got delicate. carrot cake, we got lemonade, we got milkshakes, donuts, we got a golden Oreo cookie, double stuff. That's, I think, is amazing. Uh, so, yeah, head over there and uh, check out what we got. Yeah, every fucking one of these smokes that Gruber grape shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> fucking smokes I hate, it. I hate, no, he, giving, he I hate giving reviews. I hate giving reviews. If I can't say something good, I don't like to say it at all. Right. It's Imagine a, it's a good said, recipe. I like the and grape. we are releasing a grape <laughs> peanut butter wash out soon. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Just like you get at the diner. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's a fried one. It's a it's a southern fried PB and J. <laughs> hey guys, if you if you sign up this month uh for our platinum membership, you also get the peanut royale recipe from our mm -hmm. legacy line that's been discontinued. So that's uh that's one of the little perks that the uh, platinum members get. So yep. interested in that, help and support us. Uh, it's a lot of other stuff goes along with the platinum membership and the premium membership. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's it. See you. We'll see the members on Tuesday. We'll see the rest of you guys on Thursday. Um, 
yeah, that's it. Any parting well, words? Hey, uh, I, I don't know if, if I should mention this or not, because I don't know if it's going to happen tonight or not. But right after our uh, show goes off air, um, Grim Green starts his at 7.30, right? So he may unpackage a package that three individuals sent him tonight. I'm not sure about that. Yeah. But if anybody wants to check that out, go over and watch uh, Grim Green right after us. Yeah. Damn. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll, we'll we'll see you later, you jerks. That's my new catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs>